we will see some examples of reading and writing the Roman numerals. Jatin was doing his holiday homework. He has to make Roman numerals from 1 to 10 with the help of math sticks. Look at the chart he has prepared. Has he made all the Roman numerals correctly? We have learned to write the symbols of 1, 5 and 10. 2 is written by repeating the symbols of 1, 2 times and 3 is written by repeating the symbol of 1, 3 times. Has he expressed 4 correctly? No. Why so? This is because no symbol is repeated more than 3 times. So how do we write 4? Since 5 minus 1 is equal to 4, we write the symbol of 1 to the left of the symbol of 5. Similarly, since 6 is 1 more than 5, we write the symbol of 1 to the right of 5. Similarly, we write 7 and 8 as shown here. Now, writing 9 this way is incorrect. The correct method is by subtracting 1 from 10 which gives us this numeral. Next example. In a quiz competition, a teacher asked his students to write the Roman numerals for the numbers given below. Can you answer them? Let's write 14 in Roman numerals. To represent any number in Roman numerals, we first express it as a sum of the place value of the digits. Next, we write the Roman numerals for each place value and then we write them together. 39 is equal to 30 plus 9. We write 30 by repeating the symbol of 10 three times and we write 9 by putting the symbol of 1 to the left of the symbol of 10. Then we write them together. 97 is equal to 90 plus 7. Here, we cannot repeat the symbol of 10 more than 3 times to make 90. The right way is to subtract 10 from 100 and we express 7 like this. Writing them together, we make the Roman numeral 97. 149 is equal to 100 plus 40 plus 9. We write 100 like this in Roman, 40 like this and 9 like this. Therefore, Writing them together will make the Roman numeral 149. Next example, convert the following Roman numerals into Hindu-Arabic numerals. Look at this Roman numerals. To convert them to the Hindu-Arabic number system equivalent, we observe the numerals from right to left. Following the rules, we can convert them to the Hindu-Arabic numerals. This symbol represents 5 and next symbol represents 1. Since this symbol is written before the symbol of larger value, it must be subtracted. The next symbol towards left is of larger value, so it must be added. Therefore, the result is 54. Now consider this Roman numeral. This symbol represents 1. After this, there is a larger symbol of 5 which must be added. The next symbol represents 100. Since this is also a larger value, it must be added. Next is the symbol of 10, which is of smaller value, so it must be subtracted. Therefore, the result is 96. Today we have seen some examples of reading and writing the Roman numerals. In the next video, we will clear some misconceptions related to Roman numerals.